Hello everybody. Uh, in this video, I'm going to be talking about uh, the the application of the match uh, index and offset functions that we talked about in the last video. Um, so to just understand what's going on here, uh, this is kind of very famous uh, problem in chemical engineering is when you design the heat exchanger, um, the shell and tube heat exchanger, you uh, need to pick the um, actual number of tubes that you are going to be using. Um, in your uh, design and actually you, you would start with uh, the given information about the properties and the flow rates of the materials that are going uh, the hot and cold fluid um, you uh, you know the duty and you know the uh, logarithmic mean temperature difference and you know uh, from the physical properties you can get the overall uh, heat transfer coefficient um, and then you you can calculate the area uh, of heat transfer that you need to uh, uh, to do this uh, heat transfer that you want to uh, achieve and then uh, from the inside the outside diameter of the tubes and the tube length that you specify in the beginning you can tell how many tubes you need and actually the the heat exchangers are uh, very very generic kind of uh, equipment and there are a um, lot of uh, specifications um, that are already uh, there and there are um, the standards that you need to pick the one that works better for your case so in case for instance you said i i want to uh, use 120 tubes uh, you wouldn't find this 120 tubes in the center so you need to search in these standards to find what is the closest thing to you uh, and and uh, these standards are published in tables like these that you see here and these tables are from a very famous textbook uh, it's called the process heat transfer by kern <coughs> and um, uh, in these tables, you'd see that there are two tables, one for the square pitch and one for the triangular pitch. And the pitch is the way the tubes are arranged. Um, they might be uh, arranged in like triangular shape like this. So you have one, two, three, um, and this is how they are arranged in the whole area. And they might be square like this. So you have one, two, three, four. Um, they take this shape and usually the, the, the square pitch gives more space between the tubes than the triangular pitch and it depends on the flow, it's uh, viscous, it um, makes a lot of uh, scales and fouling um, and, and there are a lot of uh, details about this uh, but this is not the point now. The point if I for instance I said I'm gonna work on the square pitch and I want to pick the number of tubes that I want to use. You'll find here that there are four um, four tables here. One for the uh, three quarters of an inch, with uh, of, of which is the outside diameter of the tubes, and the square pitch is uh, the the spacing between the tubes, which is the pitch, is one inch. There is this two this table for one inch outside diameter and one quart and one and quarter inch uh, square pitch, and this is one and quarter inch outside diameter and one nine over six sixteenth of a square pitch and so on. So uh, when you uh, try to find the number of tubes that you're going to uh, use, you need to uh, first pick which one of these tables is the one that you're going to be searching in. The second point is to find actually where uh, where in these numbers you, you would search. You'd find there are many columns here. Each column says 1P, 2P, 3, 4, 6, 8, and P. This P is the number of tube passes. So if you are using one, one heat exchanger, which is one tube pass, you would search in this column. Uh, two passes, you would search in this column. Four passes here, and six and eight, and so on. Um, so you need to go from very general to very specific. Uh, first to find is it a square or a triangular pitch. Second to find what is the outside diameter of the tubes and the pitch. And then to go for the number of passes. Um, and let's say I, I'm, I found that I'm using two passes and I found I'm, I need 160 uh, uh, tubes. Then you would go here and find that there is no 160. So you would pick the 166. And this tells you how many tubes that you're going to use. And from this also you can tell what is the inside diameter of the shell, which is 17 and, and a quarter of an inch. Okay, so you get actually two pieces of information, not just one information. So what we're going to do here, uh, what I have here is the tables. Uh, I just copy, uh, put the, the, uh, the values as numbers here in this uh, sheet. 
and I uh, want to use the information that we uh, talked about in the last video about the match and index and offset functions to do uh, this process uh, automatically. So I'll, I'll, I'll put some functions here and they will do everything for me. So before we go ahead, you need to uh, understand the three functions well. So if you didn't watch the uh, previous video in the playlist, please go ahead and, and, and watch it first. So um, the first thing I put here that I put the outside diameter of the tube and the number of passes and the pitch as drop down list. So I have here th uh, uh, three quarters, one and one quarter, which is this, this uh, one and one and quarter. I, I'm not gonna use this today uh, in this video and the pitch is, is also the same thing I'm not gonna use it today I'm, I'm, I'm putting it here because I'm gonna use it in the next uh, video inshallah uh, this, this number of passes is what I have here one two four six eight and this is what I have here uh, and this is what you should get from the uh, um, number of tubes uh, from your calculations and the from the very beginning uh, from the design of the heat exchanger so um, what we need to do is to use the information that we uh, we know. So uh, the first thing I'm gonna do is to uh, go from very simple case and um, increase the level of complexity um, le one by one. So we don't go to the like very deep part of the uh, process uh, once. So um, what I first want to do is let's say I'm gonna work on the one uh, tube pass. This is only the place where I'm gonna search for the number of tubes. I know I need 170 tubes. Uh, let's let's make it 180 for instance. Um, and this is the number of tubes or the 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 actual number of tubes. Let's call it like this. So uh, to do this, I need to check, or, or I want Microsoft Excel to check this number and compare it with the numbers in this column and give me the number that is larger or equal to this number. And usually we don't go back uh, or, or to the smaller, we go to the bigger. Um, so what we are gonna do is to use the trick that we mentioned last time, to use the match function and search for true. And then the lookup array would be this guy and then say that is greater than this and that's all so it, it tells me six actually and six is one two three four five six which is the number greater than 180 in this in this list uh, actually this is not wh what i'm looking for so this is the location of the actual number of tubes i don't need the location i need the number of tubes so uh, here i want the actual number of tubes so to do this i will use the index function and i will tell him please search in this array and tell me what is in row number six so it's gonna tell me 239 okay so if, if for instance i go for 240 it's gonna tell me you go for 301 uh, so so it's it's doing what I want at this point for one two pass. It's it's doing the job efficiently um, And you can try it for for any any other values in the same column I I need to also get the inside diameter of the shell and to do this. I will um, oops, I will use um, Similar function to what I used before which is index and I would uh, do this, but I, I would do the index for um, for the column of the shell inside them. I'm not gonna do it for for uh, the, the the one pass column. So it told me I will use 19 and one quarter of an inch uh, as the uh, the inside diameter of the shell, which is exactly what I want. It's 301, which is corresponding to 19 and quarter. You would notice that this number doesn't doesn't mean anything to me as a number. I I'm, I don't need it by itself. I need it to calculate the the actual number of, of tubes and the inside diameter of shell. So um, so I I can combine this uh, by by removing this uh, Q7 and substitute by the function that I have here. The same thing here I can do here. And now it this thing doesn't uh, doesn't mean anything to me. It's it's 
it's, it's not gonna make any harm if I remove it. So this this is already including everything, and this includes everything. So this is the first part. Um, the second part is that I need to um, change the column that he is uh, searching in by changing the number of passes. For instance, if I use two passes, it should go here, four passes should go here, six would go here, and so on. And this is exactly what the offset function does. So to do this, I need to uh, first put the, um, because the, the offset needs an input, which is uh, how many uh, rows or columns it will shift. And, uh, and I have here the number of passes, and I want to produce a number that changes with this value. So for one pass, it will it will not shift by any value, and then here would shift one column, here two columns, three and four columns. So this this is an if conditional. So I'm I'm gonna say here this is the offset um, value. <coughs> Let's call it the passes offset value, um, and the passes offset value is gonna be as I said, it's an if condition, and I'm gonna say if this is um, equals to one pass then it's gonna it's not gonna shift so it's gonna be zero and then if t2 equals um, two passes then it will shift by one and if t2 equals four passes then it will shift by three and if T2 equals six passes. Oops. Then it will shift by three, and you can you can just put four, or if you want to make sure that uh, nothing else would happen, we can um, make it uh, very specific by saying that eight passes it would be equal four and we'll close all the brackets and that's all so this is what i got here eight passes corresponds to four six passes corresponds to three four passes uh three and then two i think i did something wrong here um no, one oh two okay so it's good to check the functions uh, one by one before going ahead and do everything together. So so what I'm going to do is just simply put something here to shift the column if I have this um, uh, value not equal to zero or according to the value that I have here. So what I'm going to do is to use the offset function. I'm not going to change the, the rows. I'm going to change the column by the value um, Oops, uh, where I am? Yeah, the value that I have here, and that's it. Um, and the same here for this column. Um, I need to put offset first, and then zero and Q seven. Um, the inside diameter shell is gonna have the same thing for offset. I'm going to change the, the first column. I'm going to change this only, 0 and Q7. And that's it. So what I did here is actually I, uh, I'm i now using two passes. I'm not, uh, even with, when the function is, is showing that it's looking here, it's actually looking in the next column. Let's check. I'm saying 240. I have here 224 and 282. So it, it put the 282 and the 19 and quarters. Let's pick the three passes or I mean four passes it says 252 and 19 and quarter if I use the six passes then it says 244 19 and quarter and if I pick the eight passes it says 290 and 21 and 21 so it's it's now doing everything by itself I just need to change the number of passes and everything would be like a piece of cake for it um, it you just need to put the number of tubes and pick the um, uh, the number of passes and everything would be here um, with, with the, just a click of a mouse. Um, so this is uh, based on uh, the fact that we are just working on this 
table. In the next video, you would see some uh, kind of little modification to the, the uh, code that I have here that will let me pick one of these um, tables according to the tube outside diameter and the pitch. I, I didn't do anything with these today. So this is going to be what I'm going to do in the next video, inshallah. So I'll see you then. Goodbye.